couple questions for you. Um, one, uh, I know, you know, with the addition of, of Julio, um, you know, another big receiver uh, out there, you know, several guys that are, that are good sized receivers on the, uh, on the roster right now. And wondering your thoughts, how advantageous is that to a, to a quarterback to have a number of guys, you know, with, with the kind of dimensions uh, that, uh, that you guys have now? Yeah, well, that room is definitely uh, different as far as size, for sure. You know, it's a lot of tall, fast, big guys. And, um, you know, it obviously has pros and, and, con- and different situations where that's beneficial. We also have guys like Cam Batson, who has his own skill set. Those types of guys are valuable, too. But I would agree with you, John, like the room looks a lot different now. It's, it's big, as big as we've gotten in that room. Yeah, I mean, I guess, obviously, does that – in, in general, can, can that help in terms of windows and things like that? Just the, you know, catching radius, et cetera, that a quarterback shoots for? Well, you know, it can. Um, yeah. And I really think that also there are different skill sets. You know, some of the best receivers in the league aren't, you know, 6'3", you know, as well. So um, I think there's different ways to use different body types in an offense. Um, I wouldn't say one's better or, or one's not. I had uh, one more for you. Um, yeah, getting getting back actually to the receivers, the addition of Julio. I wonder what that opens up for Ryan. Uh, you know, in terms of further options and and uh, you know, I, I, in the past you guys haven't necessarily thrown deep a lot, but you've done it pretty well. I wonder if that's a you know if Ryan maybe does uh, potentially a little bit more of that with with Julio there. Do you think? Well, you know. I think it's always goes back to whether you're throwing the ball deep or throwing it short or rushing the football a lot. It, it's just, you know, you try to find ways to win the surest way. And it's, it doesn't always involve maybe a deep ball or it may be rushing the ball less than you normally do. It, it, it always develop. It always depends on what's going on with that game. As far as Julio being here, obviously he's a great player. And I think what's important now is just, um, developing that rapport, that understanding amongst each other as a whole offense. Julio's included in that. Um, we always believe that it takes all 11. And so we're really just, you know, we haven't got to training camp. Julio was here the other day, obviously. That was day one. So, you know, we all have a lot of work to do to all get on the same page. Yeah, pretty good sign that I, I guess uh, Ryan and, and Julio, I think, have already been out to dinner once and that, you know, that Julio and Ryan were already working out in the in the non-mandatory uh, OTAs as well. well. That doesn't surprise me, you know. Just knowing Ryan, um, you know, Ryan's the leader of our football team. We have many leaders. Ryan's certainly certainly one of those guys. And it doesn't surprise me that uh, you know they've started to develop a relationship, and, and as like we get to know Julio more and more, and you know, the short time he has been here, he's a true pro, and he's happy to be here. So it really seems like so. Uh, it's a good situation so far. Thank you, Pat. Okay, John. Looks like Jim Wyatt just popped in here. Go ahead, Jim. I am, and I hope I'm not going to be redundant here, Pat. I hope you're doing okay. Hey, Jim. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I want to ask you about uh, Logan, and I'm going to ask you about Deshaun both. I guess Logan, I guess, continues to work. I know he did some stuff with, with some guys leading up to camp. How do you like his leadership? How do you like his growth, even though he hasn't been on the field a lot to play? Has he made great strides in your mind? He really has over the past, you know, going all the way back to pre-draft, you know, went out to see him pre-draft. We had him in 18 here for a little bit, and obviously 19 and, and 20. So um, I think the thing about Logan is just, you know, he's just his work level, his work ethic. Um, he doesn't really allow anyone out work. The guy works really hard, said to earn everything he's had to do. Um, and yeah, he has done a good job, you know, getting guys out and throwing with them. He's always done that. That doesn't surprise me. And Deshaun, I guess in a, in more of a normal setting this year, being on the field with guys working, how much should that help? Him? And what have you maybe seen from him uh, during the course of this off season? Yeah. You know, it's last year is hard, you know, for him. Like I, I credit him um, being a quarantine quarterback and, um, really him just dealing with me <laughs> um, for a lot of hours on Zoom. And then he would come after everyone was done and we'd go out and grow and, and uh, go through the game plan. And, uh, 
you know, he handled that really well. And so I know he's, he had been eager to get back on the field and, um, you know, it shows, I think the transition has been good for him. Um, it's a healthy competition right now. Those two guys are both working hard. The key for them is preparing every day. Um, and they both have come prepared each day throughout our off season, uh, program and shown some leadership. So, you know, a lot, lot more work to be done, obviously. And, uh, as we move forward here to our mandatory mini camp. And, and last one from me, I, I mean, obviously another big addition in Julio, um, I, I guess part of Ryan's job is to, is to, to, get the ball in the hands of his playmakers. Does it, does it bring a smile to everybody's face when you get a guy like Julio Jones in here because you know of what kind of impact he can have on the whole offense? Well, certainly he's a great player. I mean, obviously, you know, obviously a great player. And, and you know, the, the challenge is to get him up to speed with what we're doing um, and for us to get comfortable with him. Uh, and he's one part of our offense. You know, we have a lot of parts – takes all 11 uh, we all know that um and each week you know we'll prepare to do what it takes to win that particular game or on that particular possession but until then you know we have man mandatory mini camp this week and then you know everyone goes away for a month and then we have training camp so there's there's a lot more to be looked at and seen her on what's up coach pat hey td all right. Uh, getting back to uh, Kaiser, you know, you, you see him coming out of no Notre Dame, so talented and it seems like everything is, is right. But, you know, when you, when you get into just the importance of getting into the right situation, how much do you think that's impacted Kaiser? Because obviously you guys have spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, so I'm sure that's something you, you've discussed. We did. We've had a, a number of conversations, many, many conversations about that and, and really um, – you know, I, I really look at regardless of what happened in the past, we believe that as an organization and, and we certainly believe that in, in our quarterback room, I believe it too, is that, you know, whatever's happened in the past, it, it doesn't matter how you got here. You know, it, it matters what you do when you're here. And uh, the first start for Deshaun, um, not to say start, but the first, you know, load of operation for him was really understand the game plan, being a quarter quarantine third string quarterback last year, which is not easy to require a ton of mental concentration and not being able to really do anything or leave the house or some sacrifices made there. Like a lot, we all did uh, through COVID, but for him, it was a challenge. Like, look, man, you got to be ready to roll and step in if we have some weird outbreak and that could happen at any time. And so the challenge was for him to understand the plan each week without really taking any reps and just kind of working, um, Post practice a little bit on the field with me and some others, just kind of figuring it out. And that was step one, you know. And then now that he's excited to be back on the field, you know, this is step two of, of getting in the huddle and having some command and able to translate what he's learned about our offense and translate it into his play. And, you know, so far it's been good. It's a good competition there with him and Logan. Um, they're both approaching it the right way. And it's an opportunity. You know, it's an opportunity for Deshaun.